do 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 something Calliope doing red part two because it's pretty deep. Hi everyone, I'm Dee. I like tabletop RPGs and I haven't heard my heartbeat in six months because I'm a a deadbeat. Yeah, anyways, I'm doing, um, I've already done red part one or just like my first red reaction video, but here I am coming in with a part two because I've been listening to this more and more and I keep finding new things about the song I want to talk about. And like, I ended up hearing that Clyde is planning to do a lyrical deep dive soon and I kind of really want to do this first. There's, there's something really special about weekly to weekly anime where you have a short time to speculate before like getting the answers as determined by the creators. And I know Clyde really like supports people having different kinds of interpretations, but I find this kind of speculation without like those sort of answers extremely fun. And so I'm back here again with part two because I, I have so many things to share and so many things to think about and I just want to just talk about it more and more with all of you deadbeats. All right, um, <laughs> let's just get on to it because this might be a bit longer than before because I've had time to like think, 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 think. Or maybe it'll be shorter because I actually have cool to thoughts about it now. Either way, let's start. I'm putting on the... <laughs> I'm putting on the lyrics. I didn't realize there was CC before. So here's an important thing I really wanted to point out. Um, I don't know if it's on purpose that castle is cut off. If it's not, oops, there's an editing error. But if it is, why? Is she saying how the walls she's built are broken? Half up, crumbling? Why is this in particular cut off? I think it might... If it's not an editing error, I don't think it is because Calliope is the sort of person that really like meticulously go goes over her content over and over again to see if it's perfect. So assuming that this is on purpose... Are her castles not sufficient? Are the walls she built up not good enough? Are people getting through it regardless? Is it leaking out? Is the walls around her crumbling? And I think that's something to think about because we're coming into, we're going to be coming into a new uh, theory I have about Calliope and the shell. Ghost in the shell. <laughs> Sorry. Pray I'm never released. I'd rather kick it in the dungeon because I'm back on a feast. I'll bet my heart on the cards. Interesting part about this one. Ah, uh, hold on. Because I trust me. So, mm, I think it's fascinating that the all of the hollow ends, like of all the hollows, hers is the one that's face down and is not obvious. You think that she'd put herself there as death, but I'm starting to think that she might not even align herself as a terror of death. It represents ending and changing, letting go and mortality. Yet, if you listen to Calliope's music and her maxims, it's all about it being eternal, being stuck in her feed feedback loop of work, sleep, work, and never stopping. If death suggests something ending, and she is death, isn't it ironic that the terror of death specifically does not apply to her? Death is ending. She wants to be eternal. She does not want to end. If anything, wouldn't she want to be more like Kiara? Something that never ends and is ageless? I don't know. Let's, uh, let's, I think this is, I, th this starts feeding into this new theory. Hold on. Of, of, it, it starts feeding into this new theory that maybe death and Calliope? What if that just does not mesh? I don't know. What is this creeping feeling of identity battles? How much does the form of Calliope truly fit her? Closing in on every side of me. It's closing on every side of her. 
if the castle and shells were contains her and she is the red inside of it, is she alluding to the possibility that she thinks without this shell, you wouldn't be interested in the me deep inside? If the castles, if the walls, if the shell, if the identity battles and the concerns of her are containing her and she is the true red inside, without the shell, would you still be interested in Calliope? Would you, no, no, without Calliope, would you be still interested in her? If she wasn't this, you know, anime VTuber, are you interested in her for her music and what she thinks and she feels inside? Does she want you to see inside of it? And if you do see inside of it, would you like it? I think that's a real interesting thing to think about. What does it mean to be a prisoner to her ambition? If you take the reading of Calliope is holding me in place, it's saying that either her desires for success success are being either a the only thing keeping her together or b being calliope is the only thing keeping her relevant or interesting to you i'm wonder i'm now as you see i'm starting to build up this whole theory of how much does she think that you actually like her and her thoughts versus how much do you like her appearance and the aesthetic and all of that this this beautiful shell this this flower that is if you look at the hollow contracts does destined to wither eventually So here's where we start looking into something else. I'll turn to stone again. If she is this flower, if she is this, uh, these red rose that is like ultimately withering, dying, to turn to stone is a stone flower, a flower that is eternally beautiful. You will never, it will never truly lose its shape and form because it's beautiful forever. Is that what she wants? Does she want to turn to stone? Does she want does she want you to remember her in this eternal form of stone? Toss out the past and strike it rich. Let's go back a little bit there. You toss out the past and you can strike it rich. If you're using this new interpretation of the Calliope shell, it's suggesting that the only way is, is she's potentially suggesting that the only way she's really succeeded is because of her shape as Calliope. She succeeded because she threw out her past for her current form. Her, like, her past, like, everything that she's done in the past. Like, you know, reaping school and all those things. Because she's thrown away that past, is she suggesting that it's only because of that that she's succeeding now? Nobody asked, but the app. Nobody asked, but the mask is an all right fit. Why is it only an all right fit? Is this who she is? Is this what she wants to portray? Is it true or full? I'm sorry. I'm asking a lot of questions here, but I'm really starting to like. This is where I'm now just leading into questions that hopefully support what I'm trying to say with this Calliope mask theory. I don't know. Let's let's keep going. In his fictions, no disaster in spite of it. I say curious, what comes after it's mysterious. And it Hold exists. on, stay beautiful. Hold on, let's go back just a little bit. In spite of what com uh, in spite of what comes after, I stay curious what makes it, and yet I exist. What comes after it? So this is where I think I need to start talking about graduation. Um, is she wondering what's going to happen to her after her contract with Hollow Life is done? If you think about Live Again to be a song at the end of the stream saying, I'll see you later. 
What's red? Will red be playing if or when Calliope graduates? Is this the song that plays at the very end? Let's keep going. So, uh, one thing I just wanted to shout out, um, this wasn't my thought, but someone suggested that the red rose petals that fly by could refer to the Aka Supers or the Red Super Chats, which are people sharing their thoughts with her, and she'll dance their tune, as in she'll, like, respond and, like, interact with it, but she still needs to take charge of her stream. This is her dancing to the red that's showering her. Does... How much does the red flying around affect her? And alter her actions. I'm not sure. Look here again where we're talking. Look look at this wilting red rose as literally this is the wilting red rose as Calliope is right there. She's likening herself to this form that is potentially wilting or dying. Like to be a VTuber, to be part of Hololive is like being a shooting star. You are brightest for a certain period of time, but the moment you graduate, it's all gone. This history is all gone. For a lot of for a lot of people, for what I've seen from some like um agencies, when someone graduates, all their videos get deleted. Think of this. When Calliope is gone, when when it's all done, are they gonna delete everything on her channel? Is this ro wilting rose in symbolizing her ending of Calliope at some point in the future? When that is gone and wilted, will you still remember her? If her videos somehow, for some reason, no longer exist on the internet after, if and when she, after she graduates, will you remember her regardless? Why does she want to be a stone rose in your memory? So I was listening to Screwface John's response, um, and he mentioned that it's really interesting that it kind of zooms around, moves around, it's jumbled up, and all the text just goes back and forth, back and forth, as as if it's like messy thoughts scrambling. It's 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 the endless cacophony of things that you're saying in your head, just in all directions, worries, concerns, and I find that really interesting. I found that a really good, uh, really good interpretation. Really like that one. Just. Going all over, zooming all over. It's messed up. In, in a way, like, if you notice a lot of these lines, they're all individual thoughts. A drive is right inside of us. I keep thinking there's working on all the lines. And now I gotta find a way out. If he has the only way of shaking the week down. All that feels like individual like statements to me. Is she trying to escape this? One thing I find really interesting about this frame is that while everyone is reversed, 
In, uh, everyone is upright. Ina in particular is reversed. If this suggests, if this frame is suggests what she's learned from everyone, from Kiara's ability to shine despite the dark, Ami's knowledge and wisdom, likely when it comes to technology, because let's be honest, Clive does not have the best track record with technology. Um, and Gura's carefree ability to have fun as the fool. What did she learn from Ina? Reverse Wheel of Fortune is often bad luck and misfortune. Or another reading is wild, unsteady change. Like, uh, like the, the, the upright reading is wild, unsteady change for like a regular Wheel of Fortune. So does the reverse Wheel of Fortune suggest that she learned stability and calmness from Ina? Or how to handle bad luck and misfortune? It's interesting. Just fade away. Let's go back here at the end here. So it's this is where I really want to start talking about po the possibility of graduation. From here on out, it's just me and this bloodlust. When it's all done and the shell of Calliope is gone, when that is the eternal stone rose, it sounds almost like she doesn't want people to follow her around afterwards. It almost sounds like she doesn't she doesn't necessarily know what she wants to do. Or that she doesn't necessarily want to affect the image of Calliope and the eternal stone rose that she, she's created. When the shell has been frozen in place as something perfect, the red inside of her wants to fade away. Does she want her, does she want her future actions not to be dictated or to affect the past as Calliope? Does she... Does she think that you'll only really remember her as Calliope and not anything else about her? Will you remember that she's a really pretty pink-haired Grim Reaper with really cool music? Or will you remember the message, the red inside? I'm really starting to think, I'm really starting to feel that red, while Live Again, as I was saying earlier, Live Again is a song that plays after a stream, so you come back later. Red sounds like the song that's going to be playing at the at the graduation. A song where she's screaming and yelling and wants all of you to be hype and excited when she eventually fades away. Hey. Anyways, thank you so much for listening to Red Part 2. Um, I have nothing else to really say. I've shared all my thoughts again a second time. Um, I stream on I stream on Twitch, Dice Queen D. I talk about tabletop RPGs. I also have a Twitter. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye.